I think one of the most impactful thing to me when I first saw our operating farm is just the sheer scale of it. Plenty is different from other engineering firms because what you're going to build here or design here you've never seen before in the world. Um, it's fast paced in the right way. I have never walked into a building before of the most talented and intelligent and enthusiastic engineers ever. It's really infectious. I think it's easy to be inspired, especially when you walk into the farm. You can have that feeling of Wow, this is a really cool thing that we're working on. The creativity is every day. How do you get this technology to work? How do we get the farm up and running? How do we basically work in a space that hasn't been touched yet? Jet engines and electric vehicles and batteries are very sexy, absolutely. But food is required for life. This is a new way of farming that can actually scale to a global solution. And we do that by building more farms. And that's what we're going to be doing. But from a technical standpoint, there's literally nothing you can't do here. The possibilities are endless. We have to be ruthless with the efficiency of our lighting system because that is something that traditional agriculture really has an overabundance of. I build and design the lighting controllers here in the farm. So we have the right timing and the right brightness and spectrum, it's really cool to be able to interact and really understand the plants in that way. There's a lot more to a product than its genetics. You can get a vastly different product depending on what environmental conditions it's given throughout its life. By being able to control those, we're able to get a much more nutritious, flavorful product. We're designing hardware that has an intimate relationship with the plants, so we need to know what they like, what they don't like, uh, what they can tolerate. We're challenging ourselves to design better, to design faster, to design cheaper, design more reliably, all of this at once. One of the biggest challenges we have here is that we're trying to replace the sun. This is a vertical farming system that will provide food security that will be accessible to everyone on the planet. People don't always need cars, but people are always gonna need food. And so when you start to see climate change create these natural disasters that make it more difficult to bring fresh produce and food locally, then you start to understand just how important Plenty is. Working on something that is as big and interconnected as a farm is much more interesting to me and also feels much more directly meaningful and impactful. It's about increasing humanity's capacity for food without degrading the environment. It's going to be able to show forth globally that we're able to do some great things for the world. The challenge here is really to find a way to build a farm anywhere. <laughs>